Leo rising, Leo moon. This is your November uh, 2015 general focus reading. This month I will be choosing one of the Doreen Virtue messages from the angels for your overall tone of the month. One to show what may be coming up and one to show uh, the advice on how to get through that in the best way possible. Please do check your sun, your moon and your rising though because we've had uh, the same cards over and over again. And each video will give you uh, a bit more advice uh, and be more specific. I do private readings at uh, www.hypnoula.com. There's all the prices and the availability. I also do one burning question reading for $35, paid at PayPal at hypnoula at hotmail.com. So uh, let's check your um, reading. This is for Leo Sun, Moon and Rising. Now this month it looks like um, there's been a bit of overindulging. There's been, um, so going into November, um, it looks like either just before going into November, so you're going into November in this attitude, or you, during times of November, will be feeling this. So the angels want you to realize that you are allowed to soar high. Do not start to self-sabotage yourself. When things are going really, really well in your life, Leo, you have a tendency to self-sabotage and do things to make them go wrong. So this card says you're flying high right now, which may threaten others. But don't descend soon, uh, others will become inspired by your example. So what that's telling you is that uh, for two types of Leo, um, this is about you doing things to ruin your happiness because things are going so well and that's not normal for you. So subconsciously you do these things over and over again. And perhaps this is time for you to look at yourself, um, going back to your childhood. Where does this stem from? Uh, the other type of Leo is um, you're letting other people bring you down. You're letting other people, are you giving them the calculator and saying, here, you judge and see how wonderful I am. You, you tell me if I'm worthy or deserving. And that's got to stop again, going back inside, looking within, going back to your childhood. Because Rosetta is about children and it's about you having a gift with children. So whether you have children or whether you're wanting to have children uh, or this is going back to your childhood about how um, you were a lot more relaxed then, you were a lot easier then. What happened in your childhood to make you feel not good enough, to make you feel not worthy, to make you feel um, undeserving. And why is that coming into play now? How is this affecting the choices that you make now? And the solution too is listening to the angels guiding you away. They put things in your path to teach you a lesson, to show you how wonderful your life can be, to make you really grateful for the things that you do have in your life. They take things away from you that you don't need anymore, that no longer serve you. You're well grown out of that. You've grown up and past that and you just haven't had the strength or the will or the want to let it go so they'll take that away for you so during november there will be a trial where you will be seeing things come and go where they uh need more attention or they no longer serve you okay so at work you're reuniting uh reuniting with people that you worked with before now this is uh an air sign uh, aquarius libra or a gemini and uh, you will be uh, establishing balance at work with these people. Um, you're getting things back on the go after a trial of um, really hard circumstances for you. So if this is um, this is your own company, it might have been a really tough month. You know, money wasn't coming in much in the bills. You know, if you had to try and stem the flow or blood loss somewhere. And this month will be a lot better for you. This is about establishing, um, you know, trust. And the people that you work with, with you and your clients, you and your co-workers, you and your banks, all those things, getting things going. You're passionately moving forward. You you can see uh, the error of your ways. You can see the goal line. You can see things moving forward. This is precision as well. Getting those, car, uh, those knives and cutting out what no longer serves you. Getting precisely the right cut. Getting the right way forward. In your home life, we do have the Ace of Wands. So this is someone acting out. This is someone being stubborn. This is someone not being responsible. This is someone doing things um, that they knew weren't good for them. This is this is it. That, uh, is, is this you? Because um, this is an Aries, uh, Sagittarius or Leo. So that's you or you're dealing with someone like that around the home who was acting out, acting irresponsibly. 
there's disputes, there's disagreement, there's uh, money not coming in, not spending the money on the right things, spending them on the wrong things. So how do you get through that? Well, you've got to sit down, you've got to open up dialogue, you've got to look at experience from the past it's what they've told you to do in your health well we do have the uh, six of pentacles and this is about you again overindulging so you've got to get your health back on track okay you haven't been putting any effort in this month you've got to put the effort in in relationships there's unspoken words between two of you um this is the high priestess so you're going uh, out of the realms of the norm in your relationships this this month so you might start doing things differently and uh, maybe it's not a conventional relationship. Maybe you'll be doing things unconventionally, but it's um, having a love that's not as conventional as the norm. Uh, and this is about you letting the past go and starting to move forward. So I hope you've enjoyed that reading, Leo, and I shall see you in December.